All right, what's going on, guys? So, right now we are working on the Goblin Mini, and I'm not, not really doing nothing big on it. I'm just going to be doing a rewicking on it and posting it up so people who end up probably getting this mod once again will um, be able to wick it once again easier than what they did. I uh, know a lot of people are having problems wicking this so I'm just gonna show you guys really quick how to do it once again so basically we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take our RDA off RTA and it's clean that's why I just washed it so it's just a little bit of steam and I like to take everything apart Oop, that was pretty easy that comes right off Take your glass off. Your dome cap, don't twist off hard. If you twist nice and easy, it should come right off, and then you could go ahead and twist. Uh, if you go to force it off real hard, like twisting off a, a real stuck cat, it will not come off. Um, this is what you're working with here. I have dual Claptons, and what I have for Claptons are micro Claptons. Uh, they're very small. What I used was 30 gauge, dual 30 gauge with 40 gauge nichrome wrapped around it. Makes a really nice small, small clapping for this Goblin Mini. Um, and I put that right in here just like that. And let me tell you something, it's a very nice vape with these clapping's on here. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to bring this over here a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and put this on the 521 tab now on this build I did it was really great because the coils came out perfect perfect ohms 2.26 beautiful wraps they're clappings they're firing nice make sure we can get them to fire evenly and a lot of times when you we re-wick when you start re-wicking your stuff sometimes you got to get it to fire right again um, when you take it apart and stuff there it goes very simple to get it to fire correctly again very nice so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some uh, some cotton and I already used some of this to rewick a different mod, different RDA. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna rip some of this off. All right, so we have about that much there. Gonna go ahead and ball that up nice. There we go. All right. Just like that. Now what you're going to go ahead and do is, this is definitely going to fit in there. So we're going to go ahead and pinch the tip. Now what I like to do is wet the tip. A little spit. It's your RDA, so if you want to put a little spit on it, you could. Or a little e-juice. Uh, some women would find that disgusting, so you might want to use a little e-juice. Bring that all the way through just like that. Okay. Once you have it there, you want to go ahead and clip clip this off right about there. That's good enough. Um, you're not you're not going to use all that. I'm just telling you where to clip it just to get that out of your way quick. So we're going to go ahead and clip this out of our way. We're going to go ahead and take this RDA off because the way you're going to cut this, it'll be easier if you take this off. All right, we're gonna shut that off so we don't waste the battery. All right. So what you want to do with this is this base here where the threading is. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually you're gonna cut right around that. 
you're going to use this as your guide. Oops, sorry. You're going to use this threading as your guide to cut your cotton. So I'll show you how to do that. We're going to place that down right here. Let me grab my glasses so I can see properly. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead. We're going to hold it. We're going to lean them scissors up right against that like that. And you're going to go ahead and cut. Just like that. You're going to cut right around. Nice. Nice and easy. Just like that. Make sure your scissors stay lined up on the spots they're supposed to be on. Oh, that one went in a little too far, but we're going to go ahead and pull that out. This one here, we're going to go ahead and trim that just a little bit more. And we want to make sure, like, sometimes you want to go the other way, too. Because you'll get that at a different angle. So, basically, that's what you want. You might make a little mess with cotton, but what you do is, once you do that, you'll have little pieces of cotton where you just blow it off. There we go. You just blow that cotton off. Go ahead and grab your little tool here. Just straighten that cotton out a little bit. Just make sure all your cotton is nice. And what you're going to do next is you're going to juice it up. <clears throat> and you're going to juice it up. And you're going to fix this because you don't want that cotton there. It's going to get in the way. So you definitely want to make sure that's trimmed off. There we go. There we go. All right. So now we're going to get the juice of our choice. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this this stuff here. I have a lot of it. So it's uh, one of my own juices I make. And we're going to go ahead and juice this up. We're going to juice our wicks right up. Juice our wicks right Ooh, that cotton seems a little loose in there. All right, that's just all right. Maybe it's not. We're going to go ahead and juice that up. Juice it up. That stuff smells good. Alright, so once you juice it up, what you want to do is you want to work that cotton down into where those holes are. You kind of want to just rest that cotton where your holes are. Just kind of rest it down in there. Kind of rest it right down in there. And that's how I do it. I kind of grab the, the tip and push it down in there. Just make sure that tip is, that tip's down in there. So if you could get, kind of like pull the tips down in there. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and get your cap. Right, you want to grab this cap, 
and you'll go ahead and slip that right on and it should hold your cotton right over the holes very nicely this way it doesn't leak and it should hold it very nice there okay so a good way of testing this out to make sure it's wicking very nice is we're going to go ahead and put that on make sure our ohms are good nothing's touching so just kind of does that from firing it make sure it's not touching over here not touching over here not touching over here everything's good oops don't want to break that all right so a little trick is those little juice wells there fill those right up fill them up with juice just like that and what you're doing is you're going to be testing your juice uh, the way that see how the juice works and when you burn this off that juice should get sucked right up in there like that just like that oh yeah she's looking beautiful yep and that juice is drying right up so that's what you want you want your juice to you want to see that juice get soaked right up in there oh yeah she's gonna be juicing up very well all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and put it together so we're gonna grab our glass all right we're gonna put that on we're gonna go grab our little washer here that goes on there nice all right make sure all this stuff is nice on there nice uh, not quite the way it should be but I'll get it and there we go we're gonna go ahead and take this off put our drip top I like this drip tip it's all glass fits right on there nice the way they made it all right we're gonna go ahead and tighten that and we're gonna go ahead and put some juice in there and see how it vapes real quick okay guys so let's go ahead and grab a screwdriver let's get that right out There we go. All right, and let's put some juice in there. All right, we got some juice in there. We're gonna put that screw back on. And the new one, they do have the new one, and the new one is a top fill. And I am going to be getting that top fill one because uh, I love this tank and I definitely want the top fill even though this is much this isn't much of a big deal but so we're gonna go ahead and put the battery on all right just like that guys all right let's see how she vapes Mm, very good flavor. Very nice, guys. Well, that's how you wick it. Very nice. It's definitely keeping up with the juice with the wicking. Um I don't know if you guys can see that, but once I take a hit, see that wicking right there, it's wicking really good, and 
it's making a great vape because of that and it's not leaking so go ahead guys and try that wicking just like I did just use your scissors following around the threading on the inside for the well there and just tuck your cotton on top of the hose and you should be all set alright hope you guys have a good vape